Oliver, Syriza, the Greek far-left party, has won the election in that country. And for the most part, markets this morning are taking it in stride, including the shares of the Greek banks, who you would think would be the most sensitive to the policy implications of the left-wing victory. What's happening here? Well, I think what's happening is that the, the victory was was perhaps priced in, shares mm. in Greek banks had fallen heavily over the past few months between 30 and 60 percent, depending on the bank for the, for the four biggest of them. So people were expecting this. Uh, and also there's a, a certain element of trying to, to work out exactly what this means. Right. And a lot of that rests on the, the chances of, of a Greek exit from the euro a number of years perhaps down the line. And this is a kind of a, a huge event that will be right. utterly awful for the banks, but it's very difficult at this stage to, to precisely work out how big a chance that is. Especially given that Syriza professes not to want to leave the euro. No, and neither do other eurozone governments want the Greeks to leave, but, uh, but who knows where the, the policies in the new government will lead it. So putting aside the possibility of something really horrible happening some number of years down the road, are there sort of nearer term risks or opportunities for these institutions? Uh, yes, there are certainly nearer term horrible things happening to the banks, <laughs> uh, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, the, the most immediate is the chance of, of deposit flight, people getting worried by the state of the economy or, mm. or politics and just withdrawing their money from the banks. And, and that will force the banks either to, well, it, it, it'll cause a perhaps a liquidity crunch. They may need to get some funding from the, from the European Central Bank to, to tie them over. But in order to rebuild deposits, they may have to increase their deposit rates, which will depress their returns. Mm. Uh, on the other side of things, it may be that the new government will, will lean on the banks a little more, either to lend more or to be more generous in, in forgiving bad debts. And then that will increase their bad debt charges. So a squeeze on margins from both sides, really, is the, the near-term problem for them. Even keeping that point in mind, though, given, as you pointed out, how much these stocks have fallen, might there be a little bit of an opportunity here? Well, they're not expensive, sort of 0.5 to 0.7 times book value. Mm. And, and as things stand, they're, they're fairly well capitalized. There was a big recapitalization of any of them last year. So they, they look decent, and, and maybe you want to, to dive in for a bargain. Uh, that said, the, the near-term outlook is very cloudy, and certainly there's no chance of dividends from these things in the immediate term, I want to thought. Well, not shares for grandma. No. Thanks very much, Oliver.